Hey, I'm Destiny. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And on this channel, we talk about topics such as business, entrepreneurship, and side hustles. So if those topics interest you, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And in today's video, I am going to be telling y'all all about my launch of Her Destination Hair. So if you follow me on social media, well, even YouTube, I made a post about it, how we did 22,000 in one day. So in this video, I'm going to be telling y'all exactly what I did from start to finish. So I'm going to be talking about content creation, different marketing strategies that I use as far as email marketing, my social media tips. So pretty much everything. So the order of the stuff that I did might be a little bit out of order because sometimes I get off topic but I'm going to try my best to stay on topic with the tips starting with number one number one the first thing I did before I even started marketing I let everybody know that I was going to be relaunching my hair company and I gave them a date that it was going to launch around so with me telling people, the first thing I did was I created my YouTube video. I let people know like, hey, this is what I plan to do. This is when I plan to launch it. This is what you can expect. And then I pretty much gave just a backstory of why I wanted to relaunch it, what made me stop in the first place, and just some different things that they can expect moving forward with the company. So that was the first thing I did. So once I made that original announcement on YouTube, I made a post on my Facebook and I made a post on my Instagram. So let people know, hey, like you, one of the things that's very important to me about launches, you need to let people know that your product is coming. People forget. So you have to remind, 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 remind all the time. So that was my first step, letting people know like, hey, this is coming. So that way they know once my marketing hit, they already know what to look forward to. So the next thing that I did was I started showing behind the scenes of me getting ready. So my behind the scenes included, I made my website on Instagram. Well, not on Instagram. I made it on Shopify and then I documented it on Instagram. So that was me showing y'all like the different pictures that I was putting on there. How I was picking my colors. I was showing y'all my brand board. I was showing y'all the behind the scenes on my Canva. Just so more people can get interested and ask me what I'm doing. What's the plan for it? When can they expect it? So still building up that anticipation. Once I had my website done, I showed everybody what it looked like who were already following me on social media, letting them know like, hey, in March, and this was back in February when I started doing this, letting people know, hey, in March, my website is going to be dropping, I'm going to be selling hair again. And I also let them know the purpose of my hair business. So I let them know every time I go on vacation, I want to show y'all different looks or even my same signature look, which my signature look is this look right here. So middle part wig, 30 inches. So, and I've been showing y'all this wig for a couple years now, but I'm going to get into that a little bit down the line. So I let them know like, Hey, I'm going to be showing y'all different looks when I go on vacation. It's going to be the best vacation here. Yeah. So I let them know that once I showed them that, then I shut my website down. And the reason I shut my website down because on Shopify, when you close your website, it gives you an option to have like just a, it's like a welcome page where you put a message where my message said, hey, we'll be launching soon. Put in your email address, put in your email address for updates. So I want everybody that went to that website to start putting in their email address. You want to build your email list this way. So that way, when you start dropping your content, when you start talking about your launch, people are going to automatically click the link to go to the website to see what you're even talking about. And then by that time, they're going to be curious. They're going to put their email address in just so they can start learning more about what you're trying to do. So that was the next thing that I did, which I think that was step three, was closing on the website, getting the email set up to get people want to know more. The next thing I did, I started creating my content. So with my content plan, I only did reels and TikToks, only reels and TikToks. So I did, I didn't do flyers. So it was no flyers, no pictures. I want to show the hair in video because one thing we know about Instagram, Instagram is pushing videos out right now and specifically they're pushing out reels right now because they want to compete with TikTok. So if you're doing reels, you know your posts are going to reach more people. 
So that is why I only posted reels on my Instagram page. So I built out the bio. I let people know we had the best vacation hair on the market. I let them know we have worldwide shipping. And then I put our tagline, which is taking hair new places. I made us just some cool Instagram little bubble stories just to give our page a cute look, which I'm going to put it up right here so y'all can see what, see what I'm talking about. Gave our page that little cute look. And then I just started posting the reels. And with the reels, I was focusing on the vacation aspect since we had the best vacation hair on the market, taking hair new places. So I need to show our hair in different destinations and then actually showing our hair. So that was the purpose of my reels and TikTok. So I actually, I created us a TikTok page. But for some reason, people ain't like us on TikTok. So I ended up posting some of the stuff on my personal page just to get the momentum going. And in my call to actions, I would let people know, hey, we're launching on this date. And also go to our website to sign up for our email list so you can get updates. So I was kept letting them know that. And I was posting every day just to let them know. Another thing that I was doing is I would take the stuff from my business page and then I'll share it to my personal page to let everybody know on my personal page like hey I'm launching this new business y'all need to go to that page and check it out. So I didn't make like I didn't make any specific post on my personal page that was catered to that business because I wanted all the traffic to go to the business page. I like getting people in the habit of just going to the business page instead of checking my personal page for everything. Because one thing you know with being a business owner, once you start posting everything, like making specific posts for your business on your personal page, people start feeling like they can inbox you. They want to ask you all the questions about the hair. But no, I need y'all to go over to the business page. So I will post my TikToks, I will post my reels on the business page and then share them to my personal page only in the story. So once I started building out my page with the different reels going on, then I was getting ready to launch. So I was, I got the products in, I was showing the behind the scenes of all our different hair textures. I asked them, I asked everybody if they actually use their hair bags. Like just to get some engagement to see what my audience wants and to see if I really need to spend my money on them hair bags. <laughs> so once I had a good amount of content rolling, that's when I started posting the proof that we did have the best vacation hair on the market. So, and I did this the day before the launch. I wanted this fresh in everybody's head that we have the best vacation here on the market. So I did make a trendy post on my Facebook page, which only one person got the hint because you know, like the Friday thing that was going around on TikTok where I need to figure out how I'm gonna get this money by tomorrow. I put, I need to figure out how I'm gonna tell the world we have the best vacation here by tomorrow. Only one person caught my drift and put, huh? And the rest of them were just like, oh, well, you did. And they were sharing the post, which was fine. The next thing I did was I created a poll asking people, how long do you think our vacation hair lasts? Because if you know me, I had a hair company that I started back in what was it, 2016, 2017, which was called Dusty Hair Collection. So transitioning from Destiny hair collection to her destination hair, I was still using the same vendor. So it's still the same hair quality. So that's how I know we have great hair. So what I ended up doing was this same wig, which this is the wig that I made back in 2018. So I asked my audience, how long do y'all think the hair lasts? We had one year, two year, three years, four plus years. People who know me, they know I've been wearing the same wig for years. So they, four, four plus. So y'all know me, I had to remind them. Showed them 2018, we was in Mexico with the hair. 2019, we was in China with the hair. 2020, I don't even remember where we was at with the hair, but we was somewhere. 2021, we was in Dubai with the hair. And then 2022, I showed them El Salvador with the hair. So we have proof of us wearing this hair since 2018. And so once we launch, I let them know like, yeah, and y'all be able to get the hair at midnight. So midnight rolls around. That's when I opened up the website. I sent out an email, let them know, hey, we just launched. This is our launch. I, and I gave them 10% off if they use the cold launch. 
and by I will say within the first 20 minutes we had already made two thousand dollars and one thing that I noticed is that everybody who was purchasing hair they was purchasing my signature look of this so they were purchasing a lot of 30 inch bundles 20 inch closers all straight so by the end of the day we had made twenty two thousand dollars and one thing that i'm going to point out about the amount of money that we made is that we only had 41 people purchase hair on the site so for just 41 people and the reason we were able to bring in twenty two thousand is because our cart value was high so with the cart value being on average five hundred dollars because people were primarily purchasing my signature look so our 30 inch bundles on the website go for 175 a piece and this look right here is five bundles of 30 inch hair with a 20 inch closure so when you add all up just for that combo alone it added up to like if you were just purchasing the five bundles of 30 inch and then a 20 inch closure your total will be around eleven hundred dollars just because the hair is so long now did everybody get that no the majority yes and why did they get that because that is what we were advertising all of my looks from vacation featured the same look so now when you're selling hair you need to have something that people specifically want specifically one you need to have something because people aren't just going on websites anymore especially if you're new to selling hair they're not just going on websites just to buy they need to see you with something that makes them want to buy and our content did just that like we showed them content of me wearing this hair in cold temperatures hot temperatures going i went to the grand canyon in it like pretty much everywhere so they know okay destiny had this hair it's been lasting for them five years so i'm gonna take a chance on it i'm gonna take a chance on this hair and you need to do the exact same thing for your business you need to be able to show proof you need to have that confidence like how i was able to say we have the best vacation hair on the market like i said that so many times like it just they knew we had the best vacation here on the market so when you're launching your product you need to have that same confidence you need to be able to show proof of concept you need to actually have a theme like what like what exactly is you doing what's your niche what are we coming to you for are we coming to you for everyday looks our vacation looks like what are we coming to you for so that's pretty much what i did for my business and yeah so now going forward what i plan to do is still i'm still only gonna be posting tiktok and reels staying up to date on my email content and just showing y'all how the best vacation here on the market is behaving when i go on my different vacations so yeah so i hope this video was helpful i know everybody has a different launch strategy that they can teach you but the purpose of my channel is to show you what exactly i did and what worked for me now different things are going to work for different people but yeah, this is what worked for me. Showing y'all the results, exactly what I did, what convinced people to buy, what exactly they bought. I know why exactly they bought it. So just knowing, just knowing your business inside and out, being able to understand your customer's behavior, why are they doing the things that they're doing, making sure your content actually converts them to buy. And yeah, so if y'all like videos like this, make sure you drop that in the comment section below. If you have any questions, you can also drop that in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media channels, which is I am Destiny Adams on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, pretty much everything. If you're looking to purchase hair, my website is herdestinationhair.com, which we do have the best vacation hair on the market. Don't forget. <laughs> And stay tuned for the next video. Peace.